All right, boys, here we go. So, uh, as you guys all know, I made a video talking about this entire update, but now I think I need to go and talk about if you should, should you not, or what you should do, practically speaking. What, the entire point of this video is to tell you everything you need to know about Gother, and if you're making a mistake, if you're not making a mistake, if you're doing it right, whatever, just hear me out and just make sure you plan everything properly because there is a thing that, you know, you don't have to summon, and you do summon. It, it, it goes either way. Yeah. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and leaving a like, it does help out a ton. <laughs> so again, Gother. This is again the unit that we'll be dropping tomorrow, Festival Gother. You probably know about him. Overall, a very good unit. Um, you probably have already seen everything. The one thing that I want to mention before anything else, he is a good unit, okay? He is not a damage dealer, so everyone that tries to make him a damage dealer, Nah, he's more support, obviously speaking, that's Gother. Just remember one thing, the reason I'm probably still leaning on the side of not summoning, um, again, I did say last video, I might take a look into it, I'm thinking it out, I'm planning it out, I'm honestly in the middle. I'm literally about to lean to the side of not summoning, just because overall this entire festival soured my taste. Um, in every festival unit in the game now, moving forward, if a festival banner does not include the other units, there is a high chance I don't summon, unless the characters like Estarosa, uh, My Yell, uh, Full Winged King, unless it's like those characters, I really don't care, to be honest with you at this point. Um, just because removing festival characters is stupid, it's fine. But again, this is a green Gother that's not green Gother. So overall, if you've built up green Gother and you run most of your teams with green Gother, realize that this character will automatically nuke all those teams out of orbit, because he's green Gother, but he's not Green Gother, if you, try to, if you see what I'm trying to say here. And above it all, if you are summoning for one copy, do realize that this character, out of them all, requires more than one copy to do good. For example, Bond will nuke with his 1-6. Um, Assault Melee will do fine with his 1-6. The one Eskimo would be the same way. Overall, all other characters are fine. With this one specifically, his ultimate does 8%, and he only deletes two cards. And then above it all, um, keeping up with festivals is impossible at this point, or keeping up with meta-defying units. Um, it's as if we get like a new unit that's like breaking the game, breaking everything, every two months, or like every one and a half months or so. Bond went into Margaret, which are two broken, crazy, insane units. Cusack was mid to terrible. Hijack go there was okay. Following this, we have so many hyped units, and I already see some of them being just, just like destroying the game. Go there really isn't that character that will like hype me up to the max. But again, if you are summoning, you're more than welcome to. It's a great banner. Sure, there are pluses that are going for it, and there are minuses. Overall, it's just however you want to play the game, you decide that. And if you really are on the edge of, you know, summoning on this banner, just wait to the last day after you've seen the next two or three banners, and then make your decision fully. Because again, this banner lasts for five weeks. You have so much time to decide what you want. It really is the better call. Now, this is a banner. We all made jokes that the ReZero banner was crap. Um, not gonna lie, this is probably significantly worse. We have, uh, uh, Velascula that's been there on, like, 36 banners in a row. Red Dairy, fine. Trash, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Don't, don't say that it's not trash at this point. These are, like, all filler units on every banner. This is a filler unit. This is a filler unit. Fine. Filler unit. Fine. 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 Then the rest is filler. Overall, these are also filler at this point. Uh, we've been seeing them everywhere. It's, like, when they need you to summon, they just put these characters on. Like I told you, part three units are just becoming that because they just need people to summon on banners. They just put them on. So overall, I don't know. But still, yeah, most of this banner is trash. You also have these on increased uh, drop rate. So if you pull the character before like 100 gems, just quit. Just give up. Don't even continue onwards. It's not worth it. The only thing I'm going to say here and just make sure you are aware is that if you don't summon on this character, he might end up like Festival Merlin and never ever return until you're like 95 growing old and the game shut down, okay? There's a high chance that that happens. So just make sure you plan it out properly that if you want the character and you are scared of him getting vaulted um, until, you know, next year, just summon, right? Again, it's fully up to you how you want to play, but if you aren't playing for PvP and you really don't care anymore, um, and you're just playing for whatever character you like, he is not, by any means, I will say myself, a must-must summon, okay? For example, if you look at characters like Margaret, that's a must summon. Look at characters like uh, Eskinerf, that's a must summon. Cusack was fine, you can skip him. I will say this is, like, similar, because it's more a whale-heavy unit, plus the banner is so atrocious, it was like Netmarvel went and made sure, yeah, you don't need a summon, boys. Like, they literally gave you a free pass to save gems for the next collab or whatever else you're saving for. So... Yeah, above it all, also just make sure you are aware, practically speaking, the next unit we already know, it is going to be Matrona, which is Halloween Matrona, and the honest reason I'm going to be summoning for this banner probably is because she's good for the bird, and, you know, she looks insanely good, um, like, as a character, calm down, I'm not saying anything else, 
but uh i'm definitely going to be summoning us this character or on this character 100 then uh following this we have apparently uh halloween meliodas again and the uh, halloween uh the end I don't know if that's confirmed. Again, we know that uh, Halloween the end is 100%, but there is a chance um, Halloween Meliodas happens. I'm still waiting on Halloween Escanor. Um, if that is a thing and that does happen, I'm summoning on that banner as well. But overall, these are banners that I care about because, again, she is so good for the bird, and the bird is pretty fun if you can get it working. Yeah, I take that back. The bird takes a while, but it's still semi-enjoyable. I will stand at that. But yes, is Howser worth it? Nah, not really. Overall, they're, yeah, they're not as worth it, but it is fully up to you how you play it. Do remember though, yes, they could be vaulted forever and they never return on another banner. Or just remember that if you do something on this banner, you have a higher chance to pull extra copies because he's on 0.5%. Later down the line, even if they add them to other banners, just remember there is a chance they only added on for 0.25% and you have that lower rate now. It's fully up to you how you want to play it. With this character, unlike Cusack, there is no extra free copy. Cusack had that because they already knew you were summoning for Margaret. And to quickly give you a reason to summon for that, they gave you that extra copy. Here, there is no extra copy, so you're only guaranteed the 1 6 when you pull it. So, yeah. But also, by the way, just to show you the community's response to this entire thing 107 mad faces, which is crazy. Uh, just, just you know, that's uh, that's how people feel about the entire change. Now, moving over here for the October schedule, just to make sure you are aware, and practically after October, this is the schedule. Yes, Awaken Easton, Festival Gother, Halloween Step Up, Halloween Banner, that's how it's going to go. JP is probably going to get following the JP Halloween Eskner, or now it's Halloween, uh, what is it, DN? They're probably going to get Ragnarok over here. So the next banner after that is Ragnarok. So if you are not summoning for any of this Halloween stuff or Ragnarok, that means you should go and take care of this banner if you would like to. But again, if you're not summoning, that means you have so much time to save. Do you remember following the, you know, the next month for JP, they will be receiving the anniversary, right? So with that being said, Global will get that around the first week of, uh, what is it, uh, December. So there you go. So practically speaking, um, there is a banner in the middle right here that could be a collab, that could be something. So right now, you're practically, technically speaking, saving all the way until let's say the 9th right that's around when you're saving um because again Ragnarok will probably land around here so you're like you know Ragnarok yeah we'll land here you have until then to save right last two weeks so yeah you see what i'm trying to get at here you have a lot of time so if you want to take a look at the banner you're more than welcome to it's fully up to however you want to handle it but i'm just going to show you you have so much time to save and you'll literally be swimming in gems if you skip this and if you summon, you'll still be swimming in gems if you plan on skipping the rest of it. Up to you how you want to take care of it. But again, if you are playing also for collaboration units and you really like to make collab teams, maybe Gother is the character to go and pick up. Just because Unknown Race Gother, like, or the, uh, what is it, Green Gother, because of Unknown Race, he really can buff the um, collab units. So this might be the better character to go for in order to buff them. Do remember, a 1-6 will give you 8% damage on the ultimate, which is literally um, dog crap. So you're hitting them with like a wet noodle. That's exactly what you're doing. So you're going to need to try at least pull more copies in order to do more damage and in order to actually get that delete multiplier up there to where it's actually effective because with the two, you're literally helping them more if you think about it. Uh, again, it goes it goes either way, but you know, you don't want to try to say here. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Peace out. If you want to summon, go and summon. If you don't want to summon, you don't have to summon. He's not like a meta-defying unit to the point where you need him. But uh, just want to give you the uh, my 10 cents. Peace out. Enjoy. And I'm out.